Rocket League is very famous for being a very mechanical based game. As the years have gone by, more and more mechanics have been discovered and introduced. Earlier on, there were mechanics like the Kuxa Pinch, Wave Dash, and Air Dribbles. But nowadays, there are all sorts of mechanics, like the Fedelix Jump, the Wall Dash, and whatever this is. But today, I'll be talking about one of the earlier and more simple mechanics in the game. And I personally believe this should be the first mechanic you ever learn. And what mechanic am I talking about? Well, you already know, because it's in the title. The Half Flip. Now, before I talk about what the half flip is, first we need to look at recovery mechanics. A recovery is the small moment of time where you have to correct your car in order for you to land back on your four wheels and face the direction you want to go. Now, recovery mechanics are mechanics that were created to make that much easier for you. Examples of recovery mechanics are power sliding, air rolling, flip cancelling, wave dashing, and of course, half flips. Recovery mechanics are absolutely crucial in Rocket League, and they get more and more important the higher level you play at. The better recovery mechanics you have, the better you can keep momentum, and that leads you to having quicker rotations and just playing a faster game in general. Recovery mechanics are always the least popular mechanics, you know, they're not as flashy as a flip reset or a musty flip. But I personally believe recovery mechanics are way more important to learn in order to climb ranks. You'll get a chance to hit a flip reset maybe once a game, but I guarantee you that you'll have the chance to use recovery mechanics 10, 20, or even over 50 times a game. So if you want a mechanic that will help you improve your overall gameplay, you might as well start with this one. Now on to specifically the half flip. A half flip is the act of cancelling a backflip in order to change the direction of your car by 180 degrees. Now some of you newer Rocket League players might ask, why not just turn around by steering or power sliding? Or maybe, why not just jump and turn around? And my answer to that is, the half flip is the fastest way to turn the direction of your car by 180 degrees. Sometimes just steering can be the better option. But most of the time, a half flip is used for situations when it's crucial that you make a sharp turn in order to reposition yourself. An example of this is here where I use the half flip in order to change direction and make the save. If I tried anything else here, such as trying to drive back to position, the opponent would have beaten me to the ball, and most likely would have scored from it. There are a few different ways to half flip, and a lot of players only usually learn one way to do it. However, I personally think it's essential to learn at least these two types of half flips. The first one is what I like to call the perfect half flip, which is what I heard pro player apparently Jack call it, and I like the way it sounds, so I stole it. The second one is what I call the diagonal half flip, and I think these two are both must learn mechanic. So make sure you watch to the end of the video to learn how to do both. Before you learn how to half flip, you must first learn how to flip cancel. A flip cancel is the act of stopping the animation of your flip halfway through. This is completed by flipping one way, then immediately flicking the joystick the opposite way. For example, if you want to flip cancel a front flip, you do a normal procedure for a front flip, but as soon as you press your jump for the second time, you must pull straight down on your joystick. Now you really want to get comfortable with the flip cancel, and more specifically, you want to get used to cancelling the backflip, so holding forward immediately after backflipping. Once you are comfortable with this mechanic, you are ready to move on to learning the half flip. Now for the first half flip tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the perfect half flip. But a quick disclaimer, in order to perform this type of half flip, you must have one directional air roll button binded. That means you need air roll right or air roll left binded to a button on your controller. So what is the perfect half flip? The perfect half flip is the half flip used to do perfect 180 degree turns. It's more commonly used when you're more in the middle of the field and you want to turn around while keeping a lot of momentum. For example, if the ball is going to get cleared over your head, then the perfect half flip is the best way to turn around and get in position to save. A visual example of this is right here. As you can see, the ball is in the opposition side of the half and I'm the third man in rotation. My teammate pinches the ball with one of the opponents and the ball gets sent towards our net and one of them goes up for the ball. As their first man pops the ball up for his teammate, I use the perfect half flip to get in position and I immediately jump to challenge for the ball. If I didn't use the perfect half flip there, I would have been slower in my rotation back, 
and I wouldn't have been able to challenge off the opponent's first touch. Also, if I'm slower back there and the ball goes over my head, our last man back is in a 2v1 situation where he would have to try and dodge the demo and save the ball. So it is extremely important I get back in time to challenge the ball and direct it safely to our corner. Now here's how to do the perfect half flip. You want to use the back flip cancel I spoke about earlier in order to get into your car into this position where your car is facing upside down. Then while your car is upside down parallel to the ground you want to boost and hold either air roll left or air roll right to get your car back on its wheels, giving you the perfect half flip. I use air roll right for this, however it doesn't really affect the perfect half flip whether you use right or left. It is important for controller players that you hold the joystick directly down when you backflip, because if it's even slightly to the left or the right, it can lead to a lot of complications. And this means, depending on which directional air roll you use, your wheels might not all land on the floor at the same time, which could cause you to lose momentum and slightly change the direction as you land. And this completely depletes the idea of the perfect half flip. So I recommend really practicing that backflip cancel in free play to get it really consistent. However, keyboard and mouse users won't really have that problem. Now for the second half flip tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the diagonal half flip. For this half flip, you don't need to use directional air roll, however you do need to learn a slightly different way of flip cancelling. So, as the perfect half flip is a half flip used to turn completely 180 degrees, the diagonal half flip is half flipping at an angle, say around 100 to 160 degrees. This is a half flip that is used when you're at an off angle and you want to change the direction of your car back to looking at your net. For example, if your car is facing their corner wall and you want to turn around directly to face your own net. This half flip is very useful in different situations. One that I just mentioned is not only turning around but also changing the direction you want to face when you do, so you can return to position as quickly as possible. The other situations I think this half flip is useful for is half flipping into the wall or into the corners of the field. This is why I think it is important to learn both of these half flips. If you were to perfect half flip in these positions, you would simply nose dive straight into the wall. This would completely mess up your recovery and make you even slower back to rotation. Whereas the diagonal half flip lets you land on your four wheels giving you a smooth recovery. So here's how you do it. As I said earlier, you need to learn a slightly different variation of the flip cancel. This is where, instead of backflipping and aiming straight up, you want to diagonal backflip and then aim straight up, while boosting. So instead of cancelling the flip by moving your joystick the opposite direction, you're cancelling it at an angle. This not only lets you backflip at an angle, but also turns your car around to land on your wheels, so there is no need to use the directional air roll. Now you want to learn to do this from backflipping diagonal to the left and doing it to the right, as they can both be useful in different areas of the map. For example, if you're in the back right corner facing the opposition's wall, then you want to half flip diagonal left in order to land on the corner wall going towards your backboard. However, if you're in the back left corner, then you want to half flip diagonal to the right. This half flip is in my opinion a lot easier to complete as you don't always have to worry about getting the perfect backflip and also you don't need to use a directional air roll button. Now in order to practice this half flip, I honestly suggest you just go into free play. Practice doing the perfect half flip in the middle of the field and practice the diagonal half flip around the corners and the walls. I believe even for the newest players, getting comfortable with half flips won't take too long. You will be able to practice it for a few hours and already use it in game. If you feel like you want a next step, then there is a training pack called Half Flip Shots. Basically you need to half flip in order to get to the ball and score. This helps create a game-like situation in order for you to build up good muscle memory. But like usual, the training pack code will be in the description. I always thought people don't stress enough how important it is to learn more than one way to half flip. A lot of people just tell you about the perfect half flip, but don't tell you the downsides to only using that. That's why I made this video to not only teach you about both half flips, but when to use them. I think these two half flips complement each other very well, because where one fails to help, the other succeeds. Like the perfect half flip is way more useful for turning down the middle of the field, but the diagonal half flip is way more useful in the more awkward angles and areas. So I can't say this enough, but please learn both half flips. A lot of people, especially in the earlier stages of Rocket League, see aerials, air dribbles, flip resets, and then want to go diving in to learn those. 
However, learning the half flip is way more effective at the lower ranks and really can help the speed of your gameplay. And it only takes a few hours to get to grips with, which is significantly less time compared to a lot of other mechanics. But anyways, that's all from me for now. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. My first video did extremely well and you don't understand how much I appreciate all of the support you guys gave me. Make sure to put any feedback or ideas for the next tutorial in the comment section so I know what you guys want to see from me next. But for now, see you guys later.